just seen an article in Yahoo News about COVID, COVID deaths on the highway. COVID is increasing death rates on Washington State highways. It used to be an average of 500 people die a year before 2019. 2022, it was 750. Steadily going up every year. And this year is going to beat that year or last year. Hmm. But the news article says it's because of COVID. Really? Huh. What did Jay Ansley do the same time, about the same time that COVID started? The great governor, Jay Ansley. He made it a law where police officers could no longer pursue speeders, st um, stoplight runners, or bank robbers, or kidnappers, or people going into stores and just stealing tons of stuff and leaving. They could no longer pursue them. And drunk drivers couldn't pursue them no more. If you called in the police officer and, or the police department and say, hey, I just seen this, they would say, "We there's nothing we can do. Yeah. That, don't you think, is a more feasible answer to why people have gotten out of control? Is because the police officers no longer can pull you over for it? Think about that for a sec. In the Democrat paid for news media, because yes, that's Democrat law put in by Democrats in Washington state and Republicans do the same thing with their news medias. But this article, it's home and it is in our state, Washington state, which is ran by the Democrat party. This is Eastern Washington, Southeastern Washington. And I drive for a living. And I've seen how bad the roads have gotten over the last couple of years. One of the local roads that speed them at 35 miles an hour. Well, people on the average go down that thing 50 miles an hour now. Because why not? The police can't stop them. It's a residential area. You're going around houses and stuff 50 miles an hour when the speed limit's down to 35. And in the areas where it's actually going right between the houses, where the speed limit's 20 and 25, they're going down that 50 miles an hour also. And down the highways where it's um, 60, they're going 80. So, that's because of COVID? Or is it because the police officers can't pull them over? It's pretty disgusting that they blatantly come right out in the news media, blatantly lies. That's proof right there that they're paid by the political party that they endorse to cover for their garbage. Instead of saying, hey, we got people that are dying. We got voters that are dying because of this law that vote both Republican, Democrat, independent, whatever. We need to like look at doing something different. Nope. Oh, yeah, it's because of COVID. I'm amazed it wasn't because of Putin. Remember that? Everything, oh, the gas price is because of Putin. Oh, high food prices because of Putin. Well, that would kind of go hand in hand. Oh, more people speeding because of Putin. Sickening. And, I mean, it's just our national news is just bought and paid for. So can you believe anything anymore? And you know, you sit there and see people talk about Russia and other countries. Oh, they're corrupt. They're corrupt. And, and then they talk about how um, Hitler started um, telling the newspapers what they could and couldn't say in the um, news. Isn't that what our politicians are doing now? Both sides? Um, so, really, are other governments more corrupt than the U.S. government? I don't think so. I think our government has gotten extremely corrupt. And what's the old saying? Corruption breeds more corruption. It doesn't stop. It just keeps expanding. 
And then when you got the news organizations covering for people dying and trying to blame it on something else instead of actually coming forward and saying, well, this is why. And another thing, I just read another article that came out of the um, Washington State um, Olympia. It was talking about, and this is straight out of Olympia, the politicians, and one of them was sitting there talking about, well, we need to stop doing, with the increase in the deaths on the road, we need to stop having free right turns on red lights, and they're trying to come up with all these things like that. Instead of, let's let the officers start pulling these people over and giving them tickets again. Wow. I mean, when political parties screw up, they just compound it. Instead of saying, well, that was a bad idea. Corruption breeds corruption. All right. And it's the same thing. You go to Yahoo, MSN on um, the internet. The first 10, 15, 20 articles is about how bad the other political party is. Those ones attack the Republican Party. You go to Fox News, they turn around, they attack the Democrat Party. They're all bought and paid for. The corruption is rampant in this country. I mean, when you make a law that's getting more people killed... That's just crazy. And then there's a um, one of the <laughs> one of the um, counties on the west side. That of course that's where ninety percent of the Democrats of the state live. That put these politicians in office. They've turned around and they said, "No longer are we gonna let you break into stores and then get away. We are gonna pursue you. And if we can't catch you." And if um, he goes, we are going to pursue you. And if you run on foot, we will chase you. And if we cannot chase you, we will let the dogs after you. That is from a sheriff. Because the sheriff trumps state law. Because sheriffs are voted in. And they have just as much power as a stinking governor. When it comes to their county. Yes, they're not going to put laws into effect, but they can protect citizens. And that's their job. That is what politicians are supposed to be doing, is protecting citizens, not making more citizens die. It's like, come on, people. All right. That's my rant. Just drives me crazy. Because when you're out there driving on these roads and you're seeing how bad it's getting and then you see a stinking article that's sitting there trying to blame it on COVID or something else instead of actually what the real cause is, it's kind of disgusting. And it doesn't matter what you vote for because just think if the other party did it, you would think it was disgusting. If it's getting people killed, it's disgusting. And it doesn't matter which party did it. All right. Thanks for watching.